Welcome to the Sportsman Show, episode 52, season two, going strong. New episodes should be up on YouTube anytime this week. Um, you know, they're getting new people, I think, at Nutmeg. Um, shout out to Aaron uh, leaving Nutmeg. Good luck in his new career and stuff like that. Aww. Ten years at Nutmeg Television. But he's got a good opportunity. Good luck to him. And a nice shout out for him. And good luck, let's see. Aaron. Yeah, good luck. Um, you know, everybody's got to have a change once in a while, but yeah, I can't. fresh, <laughs> yeah, fresh from his, um, bird rescue or bird failure rescue is always my co-host, Kochi. Say hi, hi Kochi. Hi, hi, everybody. I tried to be a hero outside trying to rescue a bird. Tried to rescue the bird, left it on some stones, probably left has it on top of a rock before, before on top the uh, bear of got a rock. It. That's such a hero right there. That's bears probably eating it right now. No, bears long gone. <laughs> yeah, sure. The cat's probably yeah, eating the, it. The bird the bird's like this now, up in his chest, like good night. <laughs> <laughs> okay. The bird is probably gonna Sleeping. be no more. But yeah, probably no more, but we hope not. So we'll see. We'll see what happens there. But, you know, we're fresh off from the um, Olympics. We're done with that. Um, all right. What do we got to talk about, Coach? What's our first topic uh, here? Wow. Uh, welcome to the wild card uh, bonanza right now. It's up for grabs. It's yeah. Between... Welcome to baseball. Welcome to almost October. Yeah. And well, September's to... right around the corner. And it's not just uh, the Red Sox and the Yankees that are battling for – the wild card. wild card it's Oakland, Oakland is in there don't give up on Toronto even though uh Springer did get hurt again I yep did he did uh, I, he I think he's on the 10 DLLR and stuff I he think can't he's out. A break no he can't this season no this is is this his third time he's landed on the on the IL for Toronto yeah third time this season yeah this is his third I thought so because it's getting real scary about that. So it um, is, but Fun. no, uh, don't count out Seattle yet either. Five games back, but that's as far as I will talk about with those five teams because LA is like nine and a half, Cleveland's ten. Um, you know, you're going to have to have a major, major miracle uh, with from LA down from nine and a half down. But uh, yeah, do not, uh, the Yankees don't count Seattle out yet. Well, the Yankees just came back from nine and a half games out. Right. I mean, we're 20 and nine since the all-star break. That's the best, the best record. That's the best record in baseball. Uh, despite us having horrible closing disasters, almost one today with the bases loaded, Red Sox, seventh Nobody inning. Nobody out, too. Nobody out. And we found a way to win. Oh, shocking. I was listening to John Sterling uh, on on the radio. And when I was coming home and listening to it, I'm I like. Found, I found a way. I found a way to stay with the score was while I had a break in between at work. Um, came home, watched the last two innings, uh, had some hope. But uh, all, all we did was uh, pop up to, to, to Brent Gardner, Gardner and struck out swinging. And yes, for the record, on the third out. When, when Hunter Renfro was at the plate, if he did not swing at that pitch, I think that would have been a called third strike. I think that ball was right in that corner, and I think they would have called it if he did. I yeah. mean, it would have been a borderline call, but I think he would have. I had a bad feeling about it, so I couldn't really complain about it. Yeah, so um, despite all that, we're dead even with the Sox right now. And Oakland actually at the moment owns the uh, first spot and Boston owns number two. And so now we go to this pivotal doubleheader, which, by the way, next year, it's not going to be seven innings again. It's going back to nine. Yeah. Um, I kind of like the seven for double. I kind of like the seven also because it actually cuts the game down a little bit. But the game still went two hours and I think 40 minutes. Yeah, seven. Red Sox and Yankees always go long, even if not, it's nine hours. I think they have hold the uh, longest nine hours. Nine inning game. Nine inning game. Five hours. 
over five Ever. hours. I remember I, that was an ESPN game too, and I stayed up for the entire game. Yep. So, and they own one of the longest games too, in going in the extra innings too. They own one of them. Yeah, that's Pawtucket. They still own that thirty-two inning uh, affair. So yeah, Pawtucket thirty-two. That innings. was nineteen seventy-five. So yeah. Well, 1975, you were throwing the snack food guy out there to pitch. No, I wasn't even born yet. You were almost born. Yeah, but close. You're, you're close to your birthday week, so. Actually, it is your birthday week. It is birthday week, yes. Birthday got- week. One more not, days just a, not just a day, but it's a birthday week. I will have birthday month when I turn 50. Yeah, when you turn 50 in what five years yeah 2026 26 hey if you want we'll take you to mohegan sun for a um game or something out we'll take you out like we took out steve yeah well the guys we'll, we'll, we'll take you out we'll, we'll figure we'll figure something out right now first things first on my birthday the road race so the road road race everything else yeah, we just got to be careful on this on, on my schedule a little bit because and it's nothing to do with anything bad. But unfortunately, as you know, folks, uh, we are we we've hit the four percent plateau as of today, and we went over sixty hospitalizations in twenty four hours. So it's not good. Yeah, not good. People, and it's not. It's almost like ninety five percent people not vaccinated that are the problem. Yeah, and so, you know, better be careful because uh, unfortunately the schools are going to be masked for at least the first month. Yeah, so they'll evaluate and see where we are in September. And for all you kids playing high school sports, uh, the message was clear today: please get vaccinated because if not, you know, just like on my end, I may not be on the football field come first game of the season if uh, this doesn't get fixed. Yeah, I mean, we're going backwards, people. We're going backwards. We don't want to go backwards. We want to go forward. Right. We don't want to. Th- we we've already had a couple things that have gotten either postponed or can't or already like uh, Middletown fireworks got canceled today. Weathersfield yep. Road Race got moved to November. So, and if we keep going the wrong way, uh, I'm hoping the road race here in town doesn't get moved. But there's a chance now a little bit. So. We'll see. Yeah, hopefully, or you probably will all be forced to wear masks. Oh, I can't. Yeah, I will only walk if it's a mask. I can't run in a mask. Uh uh-uh. uh. I will be dead. No, thank you. Dead Coochie. Along with yeah. the bird outside, we'll put him on a stone and we'll leave him there. Yeah, no, thank you. But anyway, um, back to the to the wild card with five yep. teams being involved. Um, Oakland's always there every year. They always are right within contention. If I know they, Oakland with their money ball um, team. Oakland, yeah, Oakland usually doesn't make a nice surge for the wild card. Either they make it and lose in the first games or fall two games shy or something like that. Usually they do that. They're not really a threat when they get the, into the postseason to actually win anything. Uh-huh. And last, let's see, they haven't been to a probably, let's see, it's been a while for them to be in a championship game or AL. They haven't been in a World Series since 1989. Something like that. Yeah. It's been a while. Yeah, yeah, it's been 89 because uh, that was the year they didn't have Jose Canseco and they tried to win the World Series and it didn't uh, quite happen for them. No, no. So. So, But actually, I think it was – I'm sorry, I think it was 88 the last time they won a World Series. They beat the San Francisco uh, Giants. Yeah, I think so too. And and I believe that was in five games too. But I, but I do remember about Oakland losing to the Dodgers in 88 when uh, Hershiser went the distance and got this complete game shut out yeah. in Oakland. So. But, yeah, this team every year, you know, they, they do a tremendous job staying w- w- with them every single time. I mean, the, the, their manager is phenomenal. He, even, you know, they, he doesn't get enough credit. No, he doesn't. If they actually played better in the beginning – and then push to the end, maybe yeah. 
That's the thing because every time uh, Oakland gets off to a bad start, they win like 15, 16 in a row. Yeah. And it usually starts with the Red Sox, beating up on the Red Sox. They usually yeah. like doing that. Yeah. Normally we got off to a great start, and now right now in August we're, 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 we're tailing apart. You're falling apart. Yeah. Well, we have definitely done that. We've only – we have lost 10 out of 16. So you re- do we really count the sweep of the Baltimore Orioles? No, no. Yes. Well, no one really counts playing the Orioles – Anymore, the no. double A team. Yeah, you just wait and see what happens, and you know, and then you find. But the thing is, you know, Baltimore is not going. I don't know if Baltimore is going to get rid of their manager. I highly doubt it. Maybe, maybe not. Uh, I mean, what are they? 30, 40 games out of. Out oh of the, boy. Uh, yeah. Well, let's see. Just for kicks. Just for kicks. See what they are. Oh, we're, they're, they're only 38 and 79. They're 29 games out of a wild card berth. Oh, only – they could still make that up. And they're, and they're only 33 games out of, out of the division. 33. They uh, they got a chance. I, I – th- I, you know, if they but go on like a – But they're not the worst team in baseball, Joe. Arizona is – Yes, the only good thing about Arizona's recently is when their pitcher just threw a no hitter, which is the eighth one, and this it year. ties a modern Major League Baseball record, eighteen eighty four. Eighteen eighty four, nice. We go way yep. back. Yes, I posted that on my Facebook, but I mean, geez, we were going left and right with these, and we thought that this was going to finally slow down. Nope, no, nope. wrong. wrong. And no. a couple pitchers had um them going into the ninth and stuff. We had a perfect no game hit. going for uh, Cleveland, but yep. unfortunately uh, he gave up a hit. Once that happened, that's it. They took him out quick. Yep. I don't know why they take him out so quick after just giving up one hit. But it, Joe, it depends on what their pitch count is. You know that. Yeah, but. Uh, you know, that, but. But, uh, it, but anyway, um. Also looking with baseball, besides the Yankees been playing hot, Oakland been playing steady, the Red Sox not. Um, Toronto's not going away. Seattle, I didn't think we would be this – they wouldn't be this deep in the season, and they're still in a wild card hunt five games back. On, yeah, on the, still. Yep. They've been decent, believe it or not. I mean, you don't hear much about them around here, unless you have the MLB package, but – um, yeah, I didn't, I didn't pick that up this no, year. I didn't so. think you would this year. It was more expensive. It was be a full season. So Yeah. Um, Seattle, you know, you don't hear about them much, but they do have they do have hitting. They do have some pitching. You know, they've been, they've been consistent as they can, and they're not going away yet. Um, the Red Sox and the Yankees, I think, have already played Seattle, so we really can't. Yeah, you know, we're already done with them, I yeah, think. The only teams we have to worry about right now is – you're in uh, – it's Boston, Oakland, and um, Tampa Bay. Tampa. Toronto. Oh, yeah, you do yeah. have to put Toronto in there, too. Toronto, right? yeah. Seattle, I'm going to say not yet, but getting there. But Seattle is in that hunt. Put yep. them in the, other, in the uh, other situation. So, But if you look at the National League wild card, uh, yeah, the Dodgers Mets right have, now, Mets Dodgers have got of that off. locked. Yeah. San Diego owns the second spot, but – Cincinnati's been well. Unfortunately, Cincinnati just put someone on the on the IL today. Yeah, what I heard. Um, they're only a game and a half back. St. Louis is four. Philly's four and a half. The Mets are six and a half. And uh, after that, forget it. Uh, you know, even though Colorado's actually got a decent home record, uh, their road record, forget it. Fourteen and forty-five will not get it done. No. Uh, well, they like the thinner air in Colorado. The ball goes out of the park better. Yep. Um, Cincinnati's been the most surprising team out of that whole wild card right now. They're not going away. No, they're not. You know, they, they've had a consistent season. Same thing. Joey Votto, well, he was on the IL, but I think he just came back. Yep. Um, you know, but as we get into the home stretch, um, a lot of things are going to determine. Remember, we do have two weeks before the non-waiver trading thing is over. So trades can still happen. Yep, trades can still happen, yeah. um, and I, I think they can still, yeah, still pick up 
those contracts. You can still pick up people before September 1st. If you pick up anybody after September 1, you, you are not allowed to go on the playoff roster. Yep. Um, one other thing about baseball, Chris Sale came back against Baltimore. Uh, how was that That outing? was one test. That was one test, yeah. But, of course, look who it was. Baltimore. But he got through five innings. Um, you will not see Sale against the Yankees uh, in this series. His next start will probably be on Thursday. Probably Thursday, Maybe, yeah. No, you know what? Maybe not. They may wait till Friday. They may give him another day of rest. Yeah, you know, hopefully they rest him a little. Hopefully for the best, five innings, maybe six. Don't overuse his arm after Tommy John surgery. So he struck out eight through 88 pitches. Okay, just be smart with his arm. Don't overdo it. You really don't want a second Tommy John surgery. No. His in trouble. Yeah. You know, um, but – but that's but that's what I think of this whole of the whole thing right now. Where where we stand, the divisions I know are getting starting to get hot and heavy a little bit. But um, some some teams can still start doing something quick. There are still forty games left to go in the regular season. I mean, this is my first chance to actually watching full time baseball after the yep. Olympics, hockey, basketball, Olympics, yeah, half, you know, preseason football on a Thursday or a Friday. So it gives you a chance to. Uh, really see what these baseball players can do so you know yeah i i missed the um uh saturday night game for the giants i didn't see how well they they looked in preseason the patriots I saw a little bit of it they were deep they had a running back from austria actually had a good run yeah okay i i didn't see i was at a birthday party just kept screaming looking at the score and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, no, nope, I saw a little, I saw a little bit of that. I watched, um, I did watch Jacksonville and Cleveland first. Yep. Yes. Now we've moved on to football, by the way. Yeah. Um, we'll move on to football. Um, Tim, uh, Tim Tebow, Tebow, and Tebow released, released. He was, he, he, it's, done. it's over for him. It's over. He, uh, he was a great college athlete. That's yeah, I quarterback. He, he had one good year at Denver, actually. Well, not really. That the defense was better than good, and the kicking game was awesome in Denver. Yeah, that well, year. of course, I'll remember that overtime game against Pittsburgh in the playoffs. Pittsburgh, uh, that that pass in uh, to for the touchdown. That was, um, yeah, it didn't expect to happen. And Tebow was like, what the heck just happened? Yep, he, he prayed to the gods, <laughs> and he got his wish. Yeah, he did. So, but, um, Lawrence has some learning to do. It's not college anymore. All they were saying is like, oh, yeah, he was taking, like, college, taking sacks. I'm like, it's the pros now. You yep. were protected by the Clemson offensive line. Now you're being uh, defended by – of, uh, one of the weakest lines probably coming in the NFL, Jacksonville. Yeah. Yep. So he's no. going to take his lumps and bruises. He, oh, he doesn't have a choice. No, he doesn't. Um, you never get the choice of who you drafted to, really. Yep. So no, that's true. So, but he looked okay in some parts, but he's got a lot of learning to do. And, uh, Urban Meyer said that him and Gear and Minshew, uh, it's still an open quarterback competition. For now, in Jacksonville, it's still open. They but not, they did not make an announcement until um, until opening. maybe a preseason game. Remember, there's only three preseason games, so after that, you got to you got two weeks to figure out what happens from here. Yep, so, you get two weeks break, and then regular season starts. Um. New England, I evaluated that one. I watched how Newton was, still had a fumble. You yep. Know, of course, yeah. naturally. Um, so then bring in Mac Jones. He looked okay. I mean, he's going to have to learn how to throw the deep ball. That's my only concern. He needs to throw the deep ball if he finds yep. an opening. Yep. Um, Stevenson, uh, our rookie from Oklahoma, I believe. Y yeah, two yeah, rushing two touchdowns. Carries, 127 and two touchdowns. That's going to earn you a roster spot if you do that. Yeah, that's going to earn you a nice spot, especially with uh, Lewis retiring as a running back. He yep. retired. Right. Um, Sonny Michelle, I don't know. Uh, PlayStation, 
I think PlayStation's probably going to be third. PlayStation's going to be looking for uh, one of the last uh, people to be cut. Yeah, um, because he'll be behind White. Well, I don't know how much White's going to be used. Yeah. He, He's only a third down back. He, he so. could be used a little bit more and stuff. That's true. Uh, both of our tight ends are banged up. Yeah, our new tight ends. Both of our new tight ends are banged yeah, up. So, Janu Smith, hopefully he'll be okay getting ready for Miami. And uh, Hunter Henry, uh, same thing. Hoping yeah. he'll be okay. Hopefully, hopefully those guys. Don't even play him for the next two games. Get them healthy. Get them on the field. But yes, you can you you can lose you can lo- use Lacanta as Lacosta as their tight end. Yeah, or Castle so or whatever we got. Well, you know, um, use Kochi. Kochi will be on the field. Yeah, well, no, don't don't put you like you got in the background with Baywatch. So, oh, you know, you can see the TV. I can see your TV. You got Baywatch going on. I oh. It's I'm not yours, supposed not to have the TV on in the background. Yeah, well, well, well. Now I can see it. So please don't don't let David Hasselhoff get you off going. So, but I can't see it right now. I'm supposed to be blocking that. But all right. Yeah. So there, there's your heads up for me. Now we're even. Um, <laughs> you actually um, tilted the screen to go see the television. Yeah. I know. I know. Scary. Or the fish, um, or anything. Yes, I know. You can't see yeah. that at least, so you're good. But, um, but um, but take some good things out of that game against Washington. Um, you know the next game is Thursday at Philadelphia. Uh, how are the Eagles looked against Pittsburgh? I saw yeah. a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Hurts was okay, but after that, oh boy, if they're going to try and do anything in the NFC East. That's going to be a rough go. Yeah, Philadelphia's taken a really. Deep six into the ocean since winning the Super Bowl. They've taken them. Yeah, they, they pretty much are the Titanic. Yeah, well, and don't Andrew worry. Carson, and, it's and, uh, Carson Wentz who's done it. It's been Nick Foles that's gotten them in the playoffs. Yeah. Well, it was it was sort of a combination of the both. But, yeah, well, Foles did better, and now Foles is long gone, so – and Fultz hasn't even started that many games since then. Nope. So mm-hmm. good. Good luck to him on that. Um, yeah, I forgot which team he ended other, up on. Is he with Chicago now too? No. Yes, no. he no, was he with. Yeah, he moved on. Uh, all right, here we go. What time to look the info? Yeah, try to look up some info. Where yeah, Nick Foles go? Um, he is actually, it is Chicago Bears. Chicago ba- Which, a no. shocking thing about the Chicago Bears, they've never really had a franchise quarterback. Not since Jim McMahon, I believe. Yeah, and that was like 90 years ago. So Yeah, back in 1985 when Mike Ditka was coaching. Yep, so they... they They've waited a long time to even have a franchise quarterback or well, even they, a quarterback. They came to the Super Bowl one other occasion, but that's all because it was the Bears' defense. Yeah, that was Nothing totally to the up. defense. That was totally the defense. Correct. That's yeah. shocking. That's shocking for a, a storybook franchise to only have no real, real quarterback stand out. That's – that's pretty much shocking. The, actually, I looked that up, and it's like, that's. I mean, they've been through like twenty quarterbacks in the past twenty years, or something yeah. like that. And now, who are you going to name your quarterback this year? Here's the yeah. big question: Andy Dalton, Nick Foles, Justin Fields. Yep, you gotta, you gotta pick and choose. Yeah, well, you well, you know that the the head coach was not going to announce the starting quarterback for week one right off the bat. We no, the- no, no, but so, um, but I thought Justin Fields actually had a pretty good uh showing in his first preseason game. Yeah, so. a little bit. So not too bad for him. Of course, Tua was okay, but you know Miami, you know Miami's Miami. Miami, Miami. So let's see if. 
if they can give New England a little bit of trouble, they may be the second best team in their yeah, division. Well, we're playing week one in New England to start the season, so yeah, we'll um, see what Cam Newton yeah. can do because um, Cam. My most disappointed team from week one of the preseason, Minnesota Vikings. Yeah, they. F- yeah, they uh, they just about had a goose egg. They laid an egg, and Minnesota and uh, Denver put up three thirty three points. Yep. Yeah, uh, you know, but of course, Teddy Bridgewater, Drew Locke. You know, you ain't start. You ain't even a quarterback out there yet. No, 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 you're not. Um, you're. <laughs> that's another franchise that that's looking for a quarterback, franchise quarterback. I mean, it's it's a problem for a lot of teams, and it's a hard problem to solve getting a decent quarterback. I mean, look at New England. New England's looking at – Three, two years without Tom Brady, and it's a hard thing without Tom Brady. Right, but you know what? Look, look, look what the defense is going to have this year, though. Defense is better. I can already tell. Oh, yeah, the defense is a lot better. Well, a lot of players came from uh, off of COVID and stuff. Right. But, we had a player that returned back, like Kyle Van Noy. He's back with New England after Miami got rid of yep. him. Yep, and uh, Winovich looked pretty good. I, I I like that kid. That kid is I awesome. I do too. He's a Michigan guy. He's yep. very very good. Yep. I was impressed with him last year. Yeah. Uh, uh, and he's side. supposed you to know? do some good I really, things. I really don't think we on our defense this year. I think we only lost one of the brothers on the team, but I'm a uh, McCarty. Yeah, he one went of to Miami. Yep. Yeah. But went that's that, I don't think it was I don't think it was that big of a blow. So that means Gilmore. I hope you resign, and at least I'm glad you're not holding out. Yeah. So as long as New England did that, he did come back. Uh, they'll talk to him about getting a re-signed deal. So I hope he gets it done. I hope so too. Hopefully Gilmore's back. That so, that will lock um, down that side of the field. But another um, quarterback problem is San Francisco see, with Garoppolo yeah. and their and this new kid on the block. Yeah. What, what's it? What's the new kid's name? Uh, here Let's we go. look that up. Look at that. Yep, we don't want to get his name wrong. No, not not on that debut. Oh, uh, let's see. Quarterbacks, yeah, okay. We'll have to – where are you? Roster, okay. Roster, quarterbacks, under Jimmy G. Yeah, I know. Um. Oh, please don't tell me this is blocked. It's Niners wire. Come on. Oh, Here come we. on. You should be able to look that up. Yeah, where else we got here? I think it's Justin Fields, is it? Trey no, Lance. Not. Harry Lance. There, it's one Trey of the Lance. Lance. That's that's his name. That's his name, Trey Trey Lance. Oh, what, what is this? Low system resources may affect your. Oh, try closing the applications. Give me a break. Okay, well I did. Okay. Don't blow yeah. up your computer right now. No, I no, I'm not. Remember, this computer is about nine years old, so <laughs> <laughs> okay. I, I, I don't blow up computers. You don't blow up computers, but you blow up a lot of other things. Yeah, you, you never know with me whether it's home or work. So you could at least home not. at work, no power tools whatsoever, but you get your hands on them anyways. Yeah, I have to. <laughs> you have to. Um. <laughs> But, but all right, yeah. that's here the football part. But yeah, there we'll be discussing other teams um coming up uh next week, you know, yeah, going after w- watching a little bit more preseason and stuff like that. Uh, we'll have a little bit more of an idea because remember, not all the starters play, but you will see some starters playing in this episode coming this week. We'll yeah, see, we'll see how yeah. They work. Um, one other thing, Zach Prescott. Is getting his shoulder um, MRI. Yeah, stuff. I said it came out clean. Yep, came out clean. Hopefully, that's good news for Dallas because they really have no backup plan whatsoever. No, they don't. No, they don't. They really don't have any other wide receiver backups either. So. No, and their defense looks still like uh, butter. Yeah, they still haven't changed. Oh, uh, Green Bay, Bryce Love, he had to get a 
MRI. He said he's okay, but they're not going to probably play him in the second preseason game. Probably not. <laughs> Give him some rest. Yup. But, but, yeah, let's go through another preseason look at some teams. We'll have more analysis on football teams as the preseason um, right. progresses. Yeah. We got yep. another, 19. yeah, 25 then, minutes. Yeah. Well, okay, I, what I, I think it was about 20, but um, go ahead with your NBA about uh, the schedule that came out today, which starts October 11th. October 11th, um, NBA season starts off. At least it's not starting off um, on Christmas Day like last year. Um, uh, the Celtics have a good chance of winning the um, Vegas uh, Summer League. They are 3-0. and Sacramento tonight. Sacramento tonight. And um, kudos to um, Pritchard. Uh, their point guard. Um, he went to a summer league game, scored 95 points. Big props to him. Um, that kid, that kid could ball. That is a better version of Jay Williams. Uh, he is a better version. Uh, I mean, very smart kid. Got his head in the game always. And hopefully he brings that to the Celtics. If he can bring that to the Celtics this year um, as a point guard, uh, that's going to be pretty good. Uh, another thing for the Celtics, um, Marcus Smart just re-signed the um, contract. So, four-year deal, I saw that. Yeah, four-year deal for Marcus Smart. Great defender, great tough guy. Um, hopefully he stays healthier this year. He had a little bit of injuries um, ending up in the last um, couple of games of last year and stuff that hurt the Celtics and stuff because they really do rely on his defense and shutting down um, people's uh, top scorers and stuff like that. And, um, yeah, we'll see um, what the Knicks can do. The Knicks haven't really – done any trading or anything like that, but... Well, you picked up Kemba Walker, but that was probably enough. Yeah, well, Kemba Walker is kind of the... kind of a shell of himself. Yeah. I mean, since he's left Charlotte, he's only been injured and and really hasn't played to his uh, full potential or anything like that, so... I wish him luck, as always. Wish luck to the UConn um, alumni and stuff like that. Connecticut native coming out, um, stuff like that. But, um, yeah, I mean, the Celtics didn't get much from them. They thought they were getting a least equal better, least equal player for uh, Kyrie Irving. They thought they were at least getting something equal to that. They never got their value out of it. Yeah. Like so, like like they never got their value out of um, Gordon Hayward. They never got that value off. Yeah. So, um, we'll we'll see what happens in New York. Yeah. With, uh, it, New York. It just feels like there's there have been more players that are getting signed. There's been more trades that are coming through a little bit too. Yeah, a little bit more trades and stuff like that. Um, uh, you know, the rich still gets richer. I I see the L.A. Lakers as too old. Yeah, um, well, I guess they're the favorites already to win the title from yeah, what I saw. I, right wouldn't, off the I wouldn't give them the favorites to win the title. Oh, I wouldn't. Mm -mm, me. Brooklyn, you got to stay healthy. Stop yeah. getting hurt. Well, hopefully Brooklyn doesn't carry the drama as they carried last year. I mean, that, those two teams should make it to the finals against each other. But it's all about staying healthy. And I don't see over 35-year-old guys in the, going through a, a full NBA season staying healthy. I don't see that happening. Remember, well, it's going to be a full either. season. 
it's going to be a full 82 game season. And um, what do you, what are you going to do? Rest LeBron James for maybe 20, 25 of those games. Um, I believe if I'm not mistaken, there aren't there rules now in the NBA. You cannot, if you rest, if you're not playing because of rest, the team can get fined for that or suspend or coach. Yeah, it's got to be a legitimate injury or something like that. Yeah, it is a fine, but you're going to have to rest them. You, you are going to have to do that because he's he's not going to pl- play a full game, 82 game season. He's just not going to make it through. AD's not even going to make it through a full AD, uh, 82 game season anymore. I don't think even Westbrook can make it through a full 82 game season. LeBron won't either. Don't worry. So I already said that, but okay. Um, you know, so I wouldn't hand the Lakers the title right now. I wouldn't hand no. them. At no, all. I wouldn't. I wouldn't with Brooklyn either. So, but Brooklyn, I think it's going to look better. So we'll see. Yeah, we'll see what happens, but hopefully the Celtics and Knicks do better this year. And we'll oh, see what... we expect the Knicks to be better this year. They made the playoffs. That was their first accomplishment. Made the playoffs, got tossed out by Atlanta. Atlanta should be okay this year, too. Um, a young oh, team. Uh, Philly resigned one of their big players uh, not too long ago. Yep, Philly got um, – uh, Yeah, their yeah. big players resigned four more years today. Yeah. I saw that. So, so – but. You know, Philly should be there. Along. At least the NBA signing players, unlike hockey right now, we're just all we're hockey. doing is signing, all we're doing is signing uh, players on uh, one year two way contracts, uh, uh, three a three year entry contract. Uh, but that's not my biggest pet peeve. No, nope, uh, it's not. Nope. Mm-hmm. What is it? Uh, unfortunately, uh, starting the 2022 2023 season. Just like the NBA, we're going to be wearing advertisements on our shirts. Wonderful. Hey, somebody's got to pay for those salaries, dude. Somebody's got to yeah, pay for know, those salaries. But, uh, if Twinkies no. have to go on to the puck, Twinkies have to go on to the puck, man. Yeah, well, how much longer before the NFL and MLB goes into that route? The umpires are already wearing advertisements a little bit on their uh, – Umpire suits now. Yeah, that would look kind of cheesy on a Yankee uniform to see a big logo on there. But I mean, it, okay, they put it on their helmets during the regular season for hockey. I get that they wanted to do it because they were trying to make money. This coming season, they're not going to do that. But the following season, you're going to do that. Ugh. I mean, what, what, what are you going to do? You're going to have Tampa General Hospital on their jerseys or, uh, you know, what, what are you going to put on the, what are you going to put on the jerseys uh, come, come that season, you know? And, and it's just announced uh, this afternoon. Just announced this afternoon. Well, hopefully with this revenue for, for hockey, they put it back into the game, which they never do. Usually the owners just put the cash into their pockets, but it, I mean, how much of the how much of the pie do you really need out there? If you're, it's it's just like um, college football and basketball. Now um, players get to sell their image. We'll talk about that next, but um. How much? How much should these owners really, really need? I mean, the six tigers in your backyard not enough. I, if I they're going to be doing it to twenty-five players, twenty-five players, yeah. I mean, you're going to put Town Fair tire on the back of them and ride them out there. See, but of course, the NHL did allow ads, but this is in practice, though. I get that. I understand that. Okay. Okay. But, you know, but they did leave the door open for future advertising, you know, and and the commissioner was hesitant. In the AHL and ECHL and league overseas, they have been wearing ads on their helmets and on their jerseys, you know. And then, of course, the NBA started to allow ads on uniforms in 2017. Yeah. Yep. 
you know, the NHL, if we didn't have the pandemic, guess what? It would have started this year. Yeah, it would have. But, you know, um, but he said, but he said, um, Bettman indicated teams would continue with that program. He said that teams retained more than $100 million in revenue thanks to innovations like the helmet ads. I'm okay with the helmet ads, not on the shirt. Not on the shirt, not on the jersey. So what what the owners are really saying here is the name on the jersey really doesn't matter. Nope. Really doesn't matter at all if you're selling that kind of – if you're selling the jersey. It, really, your team – your re, really team doesn't matter. You might as well call it the uh, – uh, Pepsi Hockey League or something like that. Yeah, we don't want we don't well watch out. Remember, they did that with the divisions this year. I don't see them going back to that again. They, they could. I, I mean, know. I don't know. Actually, Joe, they would have probably made an announcement if they did. It would have been done by now because remember, hockey season starts in fifty-five days. So, oh my, fifty-five days of freedom. <laughs> yeah, and it's a full season this year, so. Yeah, full season. Full season of hockey. Yeah, well, remember, let's hope for Canada that uh, they get their fans back and not have to still go into that you-know-what. We have to only allow half the fans in the building. Maybe, maybe not. Hopefully Canada is doing right and stuff. But, um, yeah, so the owners are going to get more money. Hopefully they put it back into the team. I mean, yep, that's the absolutely. only way – for me, that they won't show me that the name on the jersey means less than the advertising. Yeah. Absolutely. So, yeah. I mean, if the owners just collect the revenue and don't put it in the team and the team is garbage or anything else like that, then they're basically just ripping off the fans of those teams. That's all they're doing. That's why I better get hockey jerseys that uh that I can this year before I start having jerseys with advertising on them. You're gonna have advertising on your jerseys. Yeah, in 2022 in late October is probably when that's gonna start. Advertising on Kochi, Twinkie, yeah. Pepsi. Yeah. Well, I don't know. Most of them were either from hospitals or banks. Oh, uh, banks. The yeah, banks own the re- arenas, anyways. The banks yeah, own the arenas. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And really? Well, cool. no, the, remember, Joe, the Boston Bruins had um, TD Garden, a uh, TD uh, bank on their helmet. So, I mean, does a hospital really need to advertise themselves to get you into their hospital when you're, you're sick? Do they <laughs> really question. need? Is that a good question? I mean, you're going to go there anyways. Yeah, well, Tampa Bay's got they, on their helmets. It said Tampa Bay General Hospital on their helmets. So, I mean, and they were happy when they won the Stanley Cup anyway, because God knows how much they uh, they got money donated for that. So, yeah, I mean, what are you going to have to do? Uh, have the hockey players start hitting the fans over the head with the sticks so they go to the hospital? Oh, crud! No, not on purpose. Or someone not paying attention when that hockey puck comes to the head. Yeah, here's a five grand. Hospital bill. Go to the general hospital. <laughs> oh no! Remember, I forgot. You have netting all. You have netting all around on the front rows. It's only in the second upper tier deck that, if you don't be careful, you will get hit with a puck. The point that is, I'm saying, does a hospital really need to do that? But I, I guess they really do. I guess you have a choice of going there or not. Yep. Well, it's all right. At least we don't have to worry about the jerseys on the thing for till, till uh, next October, not this October. So phew. okay, next October. Yeah, so. Okay, but all right. Um, I guess we got a couple. Well, no. Now we now we finally can discuss it. We've got about ten minutes. So yeah, we got about ten minutes. Okay, so we have put off the Texas Oklahoma coming to the uh, going to the SEC in 2025. We. We, we put it off the last couple episodes and we need to make it, uh, you know, yeah. we, we need to have our piece about it. Um, the big 12 is going to lose big. Yeah. Having these teams go over there. Cause it's a game for the sec. It's a bad loss for the big 12. 
They're I not mean, even going to have 12 schools in their name. No, they're going no, to gonna have 10. So now what are you going to have to do? The you Big Ten? You're going to go, have to go scout – Um, you're going to have to go scout two teams uh, that can – Join that conference. Yep. And where do you go from there? That's the big question. Do you have to go steal somebody from the WAC, the Western Athletic Conference? Do you have Probably. To steal somebody from – I don't see the Pac-12 that they're going to deal with that. But um, I can tell you one school is going to make a, a major impact. And where will it be? Could it be the Big Ten? There's a possibility. Nebraska, I think Nebraska would be a good fit for them to go to the Big 12 only because – uh, that's closer down in that area. Yep. I mean, really, this is getting out of hand. The divisions of schools and stuff like that are really getting out of the hand of trying to create conferences that really don't mean anything anymore. Does a conference really mean anything? You're you're in the Big East, and you have people from probably probably from California in the Big East. What what what, what are you doing? Uh, actually, back then, what was it? A few years back, I couldn't believe this. From the, I think this was the Big East that um, Boise State was coming to our conference. Yeah, Boise if, State. You know that. And, I mean, uh, are they the in the East? No, no, they're way out in the doom box. Yeah, they're out there. I mean, I know you can get on a plane and play a team, but they really do you need really to. Wanna, fi- you, you really want to travel like from Connecticut all the way to Idaho to play a football game? Oh. Yeah. Do you but really no, you can't say do- much. Remember, UConn's now independent, so they do get to travel uh, all over the place now. Yeah, they're. They're the new Notre Dame. If they can win nah, any no, football no, don't games, don't worry. They'll be lucky to win a couple games. That that that's a problem that we need to address. We'll we'll address that in our we'll later show. That, yeah, not not tonight. Not uh, tonight. We'll address that in a later show. But yeah, mm-hmm. does I mean conferences now have teams all over the all over the U.S. It really doesn't. They need to, they need to pull these conferences together and just have divisions or something like that, not conferences anymore. Yeah, well, th- well, remember these two teams are not moving to the SEC until 2025. You have four more years, but do you think they would actually decide? You know what? We want to pull out of there sooner. I don't think they will do that. Um, I think it's a big uh, money paying if they do sooner. But it, yep. yeah, if if you really want to do it so sooner, just pay the big fine and just move but, but on. But you know who's happy about this? That's uh, happening with Texas going to the SEC. Texas A and M. Yeah, because now in the in the Big Twelve, as they say, now you only have Texas Tech and Baylor now, and T in Texas Christian University. Yep, you're down to three Texas teams. You know, and, and the scary thing is, will they realign these conferences again coming up? Who's going to come to the big time next? Yeah, they really do need to fix this because it, it's a mess. It's a mess out there. And it, until they do, they're just going to have schools all over the place. Yep, Absolutely. It's something. It's something that's got to be fixed. Unfortunately, it's got. It's got to be done. So, but I mean, okay. I I, I know you want to create ins- exciting football. I know you're watching the uh, Yankee game. I yes, be- I am. Yep, I have been. I have to check on that in, the, in some in the little league girls game and the fantasy football now show too. Yeah, <laughs> but I, I know you want to create. Um, exciting college football, but do you really have to do that with these crazy divisions? No, because now you're putting in, in on the conference now where you're going to have two separate divisions now, like they already have been, and now you're going to it's going to be expanded. I mean, yeah, it's 
there's only four teams that go to the big games anyways. Yeah, be careful. That's going to change soon, that too. That could change but for, for another cash grab. But, um, I mean, do, do you really watch any mid- of these lower division one teams. I mean, I know you're trying to get popularity for your school and it's great for your school, but no one really watches you anyways. No, unless it's a non-conference game or it's a college bowl game. College. Yeah. So, I mean, I know you know people like Cinderella's, but nobody actually watches Cinderella. No, the last Cinderella team, believe it or not, Joe, and uh, it is one of them, is Boise State will always be remembered as the Cinderella team. But, yeah, yeah I know you. I know UConn played uh, Oklahoma back in the uh, Fiesta Bowl where, uh, unfortunately, Oklahoma did. Destroyed uh, us. Yeah, and that's when Randy Etzel said, bye, I'm not coming back on the plane. I'm going to Maryland. But, uh, yeah, yeah, for a couple of years. <laughs> yeah, and he's back now. Yeah, but, now he's back. Um, You know, but, but yeah. Um, we need to do since we got about six minutes left. Um, we do about need to five. okay. We need to congratulate the uh, Manchester Little League team who was going to Williamsport, but they got in by the back door. And what I mean by the back door is because two teams from each region uh, was going this year, and even though they were playing in the championship game, some of the teams weren't really disappointed. No, because they are they were already guaranteed already guaranteed a spot. So. Nothing really to play for. Nothing to really gain. No. Yes, you get the, the little only banner. downside was from what from what I heard is our we were the only region that was limited on fans. Everybody else uh, went full crowd. Uh, I guess so. I wasn't even down there. I no, no, I no. I'm not talking about Bristol. I'm talking about the other uh, other on TV, like Cal- San Bernardino, California, Indiana. Oh, I, other, other, yeah, they had. That's what stadiums. I'm talking about. I'm not talking about the one in Bristol. I'm talking about the other venues. Oh yeah, uh, everybody else had full venue, full fans. I mean, their hot dog stands were going. Everybody, everything. Not us. Was, not us. No, we 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 didn't make money. We lost money. Yeah, we were like <laughs> screw making money. We just yeah, no, we, and we put it, up yeah. a second fence and stuff. Yeah, I know. It didn't really work. It, not in a little bit, yes, but they were. From what I was told, that if once you arrived, they were really strict. They said if you uh, don't have were, a pass, Tom was tasing you. Yeah, and, no, more like sorry, you got to turn around and walk away. And you know what? And I felt, and, and of course, you know, even though Manchester and New Hampshire were playing each other, uh, yeah, uh, of course, at, at the end result, uh, you know, both teams were happy to get in. But now Manchester plays their first game on Thursday against California. California, that's a hard uh, well, yeah. start. It's going to be a tough start, but, you know, it's double elimination, so I'm hoping this goes well. And the tournament's going to last for about nine days, so we'll see. And, yes, they're still going ahead with a Major League Baseball game. I didn't think they were going to do that, but they are. Yep, still a Major uh, League Baseball game. Yeah, it's, it, yeah, even though it's not two or not the promising teams that we're supposed or that are going. but um, Yeah, yeah. Um, the Field of Dreams game was pretty cool. We forgot yes. to mention that before. Yeah, uh, that was pretty awesome. Uh, Kevin nice fan felt like all over again. Yep, walking out before walking in the two teams. Um, I wish they actually played a series there. They sh- could. They should have played three Maybe game in the series. Future, they did announce. They did announce today that the Reds and the Cubs are playing there next year. That was announced today. Yeah. But I, I mean a series. If if you're going to play one, you should I actually play three, three games well, there. I think they're going to do an experiment, Joe, is what they're doing right now. I think it's just experimenting. Yeah, I, I know it's experience play. and stuff. It was it was pretty good. But why well, fly you know, back well, to well, Chicago? Well, don't forget, though, here's the thing. Here's the thing. We're, we got the Cubs and the Reds playing there. But remember, isn't Major League Baseball still without a possible baseball agreement after this year? Yeah, that's true. The baseball agreement is up in the air after this year. That's yeah. going to be yeah. a very iffy situation yeah, when it comes be, that's to That's going to be touchy, go feely thing, and that may not be pretty. No, it, it may be some arguing about so, that. But, but that's for – we can't worry about that right now. That's for uh, – 
another another show too. Um, yeah, the Little League softball series is ongoing. They're in the semifinals, final four, yep, which is on ESPN. New ballpark, by the way, too. They're not yep, new, new state, new state, not new ballpark, new state and yeah, ballpark. New state. Yep. Um, you know, and then like we said, oh, oh, a shout out for a golf turn. I know we got like two minutes left. Yep. Um, the Wyndham Championship playoff version. Six players were in it, tied a PGA record. Yep. We had six golfers going out there. One could have ended on the first playoff hole. He blew his birdie putt. So then. We go back to the 18th hole. All six people, all six golf carts going back. Um, that yeah, was crazy that, that was crazy. Um, you know, the guy wins it uh, on the second playoff hole, so their playoff thing uh, starts up. NASCAR's got one more race before they start their playoff. Um, you know, and U.S. Open's not far away. That starts in two weeks, less yep. than two. Weeks. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, so you got a lot of things that are coming up now, and it's good to see it's getting busy again in the sports world. You know, but as long as, of course, you know, don't start spiking, please. No, don't start spiking. Please get vaccinated. I, I, I know, I we're not. Uh, I, I can't say enough about it. I don't want to offend anybody or anything nope. like that. But it's the only way that we're going to go back to normal. It, it's. It is. I mean, if we if we don't do this, we're going to be suffering for the next couple of years. We're going to shut down again, and then this time it's going to be back to the life of home, work, and uh, no sports except unless they want to watch soccer from Europe. Yeah, or Which, or something. Yep. Oh, uh, I don't want to do that. Or video no, games. Exactly. <laughs> I've done vid- enough of that. <laughs> yeah. Um, we did have a you. Uh, we did have our U.S. soccer player. She did call it a career uh, last night, yesterday. Yep. Um. So congratulations. Okay, we don't have time to look her up, but no, we don't. I just said the name. I just said the name, Carly okay. Lloyd. Cool. So yep. that's good. But that is a wrap on this episode. Episode four, four, 52 is in the book. Yep, fifty-two. This has been the Sportsman Show. I've been Joe Musil. Coachy. Thank you, folks. Make sure you watch us on TV.